Hello and welcome. Uh, it's Hayley Quinn here. I'm a dating coach and I'm here to tell you to talk to you about how to enjoy being single and then obviously ultimately meet an amazing partner for you. If you have heard that really annoying phrase, when you're not looking, the right one will just turn up or you're trying too hard or something like that being thrown at you and you actually feel like you've pretty much exhausted all avenues for dating and they've all let you down and you feel just tired of the process and you just can't be bothered anymore this webinar really is for you it's going to be part of a short series that i'm posting here on my youtube so if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to catch the rest of the series so if you don't know who i am i'm a dating coach i've been working with men and women for over a decade i'm also a published author both in the rom-com and dating industry and uh, I'm a TED speaker, and but this isn't about me, is it? It's about you. I want to help you to start to feel better about being single from today. So we're going to really be looking at some of the inner work and mindset that you can help shift around to get better at being single, to enjoy your life more, and to find dating a lot less stressful and a lot easier. So I do like in my coaching to focus on positive action, like how to rebuild your dating app profiles to get them more matches or how you can meet men in real life or how to be better at flirting on your dates or having personal boundaries. But today, I think all of that really, those great practical skills really rest on your ability to have a good outlook on dating. And wow, that's hard, isn't it? If you haven't had very good experiences recently, sometimes um, some of the worst dating advice you can get, like you just need to be confident and just need to be yourself. That's a great idea. And it's a nice ideal to aspire to, but really, Right now, you may feel completely the opposite of that. You might actually feel like, well, well, I have been being myself. And in fact, I've beyond being being myself, I've tried everything. You know, I've tried being more communicative with him, less communicative, saying yes to dates I wasn't that keen on, being really rig rigorous in terms of only going out with people I really like. And it's all had the same net result, which is I am still where I don't want to be. And actually, this is starting to really feel intimidating to me now because I just can't see a solution and that and i know and i've i've definitely had a lot of anxiety um throughout my life i just know it's not feeling like you have a game plan feeling disorientated feeling like there's no good solution no good options out there and i just have to let you know even in an area like dating which feels like it's a lot down to luck and chance actually there is so much you can do to change not only your outlook on dating but also your results so right now you may feel like in fact all of your previous experiences haven't been the ones that you want they haven't ultimately got you to that stable secure loving relationship that you really need and as those negative experiences compound i bet they're affecting your belief that this could be something that happens to you and in turn that belief can actually negatively affect your behavior in dating and it creates this horrible feedback loop so Today, we will look at strategies to start to break that feedback loop by changing your outlook on dating so you have a more positive belief, which makes you take more attractive and self-confident actions, which then actually in turn gets you better results. You also might be feeling, if you're watching this session, quite a lot of time pressure. God, like, that's the one thing I think if uh, you know anybody thinks that women have dating easy, that's a, a massive factor to think about. It's it's an extra layer of challenge, isn't it? Trying to maintain a really great mindset and outlook, which I'm sure you know you, that you should have around dating, whilst you might be feeling this incredible pressure and burden of time. And that's because if you particularly are looking for a family, and I'm, so I'm not saying that that's something everybody or every woman aspires to do, it certainly isn't, but if that's something you do want to do, you might feel like, God, every day, week, month, and birthday that ticks by, this pressure cooker is really starting to kick in. And really, how I want you to start to look at dating is we have to get you out of the pressure cooker and back to a space, dare I say, imagine if you were like, I don't know, 21 and backpacking through Australia and just having like the best time with your friends and enjoying those experiences. I want you to have that much fun just with the attitude and the awareness and knowledge of what you actually need that you have now at this stage in your life. Um, I also really want to get you away from asking the wrong questions about dating. So obviously as a dating coach, I get plenty of people asking me questions and a big one they'll ask is, 
So what, you know, where am I, where are all the good guys and when am I going to meet someone? And really these are actually completely the wrong questions to ask. So if you find yourself, this almost being a mantra to you that you keep saying these questions over and over and over, you've got to know that you're asking the wrong questions to begin with. So when we look at it, when we think about where, it's not that there's like one incredible app to be on, which is going to be so much better than all the other apps out there. Or there's one like particularly great bar that all the cool relationship orientated guys who look like a silver fox hang out in. It's not where, and it's how. How do I become the person that I need to be in order to meet some? How do I change how I interact with people? How do I change my mindset, my attitude, my behavior? So it's not a where, it's a how. And really, this is great because I think when we focus on the where in dating, it, it means that you don't you can't take so much responsibility, right? It's about finding a place. Well, in fact, it's not about finding a place. Bit of a cheesy line here, people, but it is about finding yourself in this area. It is about personal development and it is about how you can change who you are rather than waiting for some incredible man to sweep you off your feet you're actually going to go out there and you're going to achieve this for yourself, just like you have every single other area of your life. And in terms of when, again, out that pressure cooker, we want to be less, bizarrely, less outcome focused, so less focused on the goal of when am I going to meet my, you know, dream husband or life partner or when, I'm, or even when am I going to start to have fun and exciting dating experiences that I want? It's not when, it's about actually, again, a bit cheesy here, but it is about creating a process that's more enjoyable and more motivating. It's like that enjoy the journey thing, which personally I find like I cringe when I hear it, but there is a real truth here about that in the world of dating. It is about how can you design a process for your dating life that you're going to find enjoyable and motivating. So really we want to take the conversation with dating away from scary um, and scary equals scarcity a lot of the time a lot of the time things that freak us out are because we feel like we don't have options or options are running out or time is running out whenever we feel that crunch of gosh there's just like nobody left or all the good ones are taken or you know I better meet someone before my next birthday or anything like that it just makes us feel like under in a major rush to choose that often we have to choose between options that no options are really what we want and it can also ultimately mean that the process of getting to know the men that you're dating and encountering becomes less enjoyable because it all becomes focused on this end outcome. So ironically, to get the outcome you want, you almost have to take a step back here and instead think, how do I create more options for myself? So there are undoubtedly ways that you can generate more options. So again, imagine instead of waiting again for that guy to walk into your life and sweep you off your feet, imagine if you could create an online dating profile that was super representative of you, that did a good job of filtering guys, that you had a good strategy for messages, that you didn't just like leave messages unanswered for days on end and cancel dates at the last minute just because you were feeling just like tired of the process. Imagine if you turned up and showed up to that process with more energy, more commitment, more enthusiasm, and that again, you had a better strategy for dealing with all those like pitfalls that can come up where in messaging like him canceling last minute or messaging you tons for a day and then disappearing or some a guy asking you out for a dinner date on the first message before he gets to know you. These are all things that can be frustrating, but oh my gosh, they are solvable. These are solvable problems. Likewise, in terms of creating more options for yourself, I know we're kind of on the tail end of a pandemic, but there are still an growing opportunities to meet men in real life again. And sometimes this can just be incredibly rewarding. If you feel like for whatever reasons, the online dating, you felt run down by that, or that you particularly feeling particularly uh, resentful or not liking that part of your dating life. Um, whilst I think online dating can be an amazing tool, if that's how you're feeling right now, don't rule out meeting people in real life. Uh, I met my husband at the gym. It can happen. Um, it wasn't creepy. <laughs> it was nice. Um, so think about how can you generate more options? How can you say yes to more invitations? How can you change up your social calendar? How can you change up your personal style? How can you 
uh, encourage your friends to meet you to go out for, you know, drinks instead of a coffee, quick coffee or brunch? How can you start to engage with the world a little bit differently? Then when you get an option, it's about instead of immediately um, looking at him and assessing, is this my love of my life or not? You're going to have to take a different mindset around this because if you assess every guy on the, is this a love of my life or not? You know, arguably your expectations for dating could be, I wouldn't say too high. It's not exactly in the right phrase, but they could be, your expectations could be focused on the wrong things. Um, and also if it's like a binary thing where it's like blow my mind or bust, then ultimately a lot of the time you're going to end up at bust and you're going to feel like the whole process isn't enjoyable. Likewise, it's very easy with dating to get into black and white thinking, which is stuff like, well, I met two guys and one I really connected with and he was great. We didn't want a relationship. And then this other guy is so nice. I'm just not feeling it with him. Oh no, I'm doomed because I'm, neither of these options is good. Again, remember there aren't just two options in the world, right? There's not just two guys or two types of guys or there's, you know, a nearly infinite amount of people and personalities. So Again, don't limit yourself in your thinking to feel like you are constantly torn between really scant options. Instead, you've got to just be like, I can create more options for myself. I'm going to enjoy the time I spend with these people, even if ultimately they're not the one, because I don't even really believe in the one. It doesn't have to be a waste of time. It's like, how can you find merit in those dates anyway? And finally, like, how can you use those dates as data points to help you get more focus on what you need in a partnership and also what kind of person you need to become in order to get that great partner? For instance, that could be behaving in a way that's more consistent or more open-minded yourself, or it could be becoming clear about what you actually need um, in a relationship. And there's a big difference, I think, between when you think about what kind of man you'd like to meet, there's a huge difference between describing a kind of like every man who's attractive, who's like, I don't know, tall, dark, handsome, rich, um, you know, nice. Uh, don't describe that guy. Think about the guy that really works for you. So it's like you should know, start to learn more and more about your personality and who really works for you. Like maybe it's not the super alpha confident guy maybe you'll end up butting heads with him maybe you want someone who's more supportive maybe you will enjoy someone who's more go with the flow maybe you'll really go with the flow and you want to meet someone who's a real planner and in a lot of who is the right partner for you is going to come down to you so when you're thinking about what to look out for really look out for how he interacts with you and how willing he is to build that relationship with you versus him just being some kind of like awesome guy on paper that's got like a PhD and a million pounds and other stuff. You don't need that. You need someone who's going to interact with you in a way that's amazing. Um, anyway, I'm going to carry on with this video series. We've got a few videos in this set. So if you've enjoyed this presentation so far, make sure you stay tuned in. The next video will be coming out in the next week or two. Subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to join in live webinars that I do and ask me your questions live, you can head over to hayleyquinn.com forward slash real love, um, become a newsletter subscriber. You will get some cool free videos. There's a free ebook on messaging guys. And more importantly, this isn't some spammy stuff that I'm going to share your email address with other people. You really, it's like my company is small. We're here because we actually care. I'm inspired because I want to help people. And if you feel like you need a bit of inspo right now in the area of your dating life, come along, sign up, see what you think. Um, and hopefully I will see you again on the next session.